so November has finally come to an end, which means December is coming up, and that means Christmas, and for me it means my birthday too, which makes me super excited because I'm 30, 18, which here is the legal age for you to drive, and I'm super excited to finally be able to get a driver's license, because that's something I've dreamed up for a very, very long time. But anyway, let's just get right into it. So the first thing I have been loving this month is the Lorna lipstick in... I don't know the color of it actually. Anyway, it's just this really, really pretty pink. And it's really nice for summer because right here in Brazil we're going to summer. So I've been looking for lipsticks that aren't so dark but also have a bit of color to them and this has definitely been my favorite. On the makeup note, I've also been loving the CoverGirl Clean Oil Control Foundation and my shade is Warm Beige. So this foundation covers up super duper well. Like, I don't even need concealer when I put it on, and it's super cheap, like it's drugstore foundation. So I definitely recommend you go get this one if you want coverage that is not too cakey. On my eyes, I've been loving the Revlon palette in Vava Blue. They're super shimmery, and they're cream shadows, so they're really nice for summer also because... I prefer cream shadows during the summer. I don't know why. It's just something I prefer. And I prefer cream blushes. I don't know why. I just feel like it stays better and it's more summery. I don't know. It's just how I feel. But anyway. On my nails, I have been loving Essie's Peach Day Query. I don't know how you say this, but it's basically what it says. It's where pink and peach meet and it's super super pretty. And I'm not a fan of glitter like glittery and shimmery nail polishes so this kind of gives you a glow without it being shimmery. That's what I really really love about this color. For scents I have been loving the Versace Bright Crystal Perfumed Lotion. And what I like about this, especially during the summer, is that it stays for longer than the perfume would. So like you can still feel it, it's more powerful of a scent. And it's really nice because like even if you go in the pool, I feel like it will still be there because it's better absorbed inside your skin. So I definitely recommend this and the smell, it smells exactly like the perfume. It's a strong smell, but I absolutely love it. For fashion, I have been loving my pink high-waisted shorts, and they're really, really hot pink, but I love them for the summer because they're kind of on the shorter side, and they're high-waisted, but you can still pair it with something dressier and wear it out at night. So they're super versatile and they're actually featured in my spring lookbook. So if you want to check out a way that I wear these, definitely go check out that video which I will have linked in the down bar. So you guys can tell like summer comes up and I'm wearing pink, like everything's pink. My body lotion's pink, my lipstick's pink, my nail polish is pink, just everything. But now, going on to shoes, what I have been loving this month are these heels. And they have a material which I don't know what it's called, but it basically looks like wood. And that's what I love about them. Because they're not too tall, they're super comfortable to walk in, they're neutral, but they still have kind of an edge to it. So I've been wearing these a lot. My favorite YouTuber of the month has been Megan Rosette. And she's just like my favorite YouTuber of all time, especially makeup wise. She has the prettiest makeup looks 
and her get ready with me videos are the best. So definitely go check her out if you haven't already because if you haven't seriously, just do it because she's awesome and I love her. I've been watching her for about a year now and she never disappoints me. For movies, this month I chose two movies because I have been watching a lot of movies this month. I don't know what it is, it's probably because like I've been studying a lot. So when I have a break, I don't want to go out or anything, I just want to stay home and chill. So I've been watching a lot of movies and my two favorite movies are The Way Way Back and of course Catching Fire. Like seriously, can we just take a moment? The movie was awesome. So I decided that I would take my mom to watch it with me. So I was like, okay mom, let's go watch Catching Fire because all of my friends had already seen it. Um, she hated it. She's like, I hate this movie. It's just blood and war and I completely hate it. And she would like poke me and be like, is the movie about to be over? Is the movie about to be over? Because I want to go home. So that was not a good experience for her, but I love the movie. I think Katniss is super badass and Josh Hutcherson and Liam Hemsworth. Like, can you ask for more? And the other guy, which I don't know the name, but he was pretty hot too. So just like eye candy and amazing and I love it. The whole story and line of it, it's just awesome. I've read the books. And I feel like the movies are staying pretty true to the books compared to other movies. So, yeah. My favorite book of the month on the Catching Fire theme is Divergent, which they're going to come out with a movie, I believe, in May or March next year. But anyway, it's just awesome. The book is, like, super duper awesome. It's basically, like this city that they divided in five factions so one is for kindness, one is for bravery, one is for intelligence and it goes kind of in that theme and then when everyone turns 16 they have to choose a faction but this girl she's divergent which means she doesn't belong to a single faction and it's just really awesome like they go through kind of this revolution kind of stuff and I'm just gonna stop talking before I give away the book but you should definitely definitely read it or you can listen to it like I did on audible.com which is this website where you can listen to books and I think as soon as you have an account they give you a credit which will probably get you one book and you can already start listening. You can get Divergent, which is super duper awesome. And I'm in love, love, love with that book. Also, something I have been watching is The Vampire Diaries, which has been one of my favorite shows of all time. Like, I don't like Twilight. Don't get me wrong or anything, but I dislike it, actually. Um, the whole shining vampire thing just doesn't stick with me. And what I love about Vampire Diaries is just that, like, oh god, they're, like, amazing, and everyone's badass. For music, this month, I caught the One Direction bug. Yes, I pledge guilty. Um, my sister got me into it, and let's just say it's not pretty, because I listen to their album nonstop, and... Harry Styles is just like my new celebrity crush. Please can I have him here right now? But my favorite song is... And another song I have been loving this month is from Katy Perry's new album. Like. People, why are you all coming out with different albums? Like right now, it's time to come out with Christmas albums and they're just coming out with regular albums. But I'm really happy about that because I've been loving it. Like Britney Spears came out with an album and Katy Perry, One Direction, Miley Cyrus, just kind of all, everyone is coming out with albums and I'm super happy about it. So my favorite song of hers is... <laughs> That 
is all for my favorites this month. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any requests for new videos, leave it in the comment section below that I'll be happy to do them since I have a lot more time in my hands now that I'm done school and I'll see you guys soon.